man, shouts to my True Be Told Flex podcast family. Sure you shoot Judah, the host, production manager, his wife, Vanatha, y'all, Ahaya, and Charmaine. Shouts to them, man. Love them. It's my family. Out here in nature. Shalom, peace, blessings, everybody. Shabbat shalom to those who celebrate and find rest on this day. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well out here in nature. Get some of that good morning breeze. Get that morning walk in. Peace, blessings, everybody. Um... Man, it's good to be amongst the land of the living this morning. If you are watching this, you are amongst the land of the living. Thankful to the Most High Yahuwah for his everlasting grace, mercy, tender love, and kindness, his love, his mercy that endures forever, man, in the name of his Begotten Son, Begotten Son, Yahushua Hamashiach, who is the Redeemer of Yasharal, who is Adoni, by way of the wonderful, sweet Ruach, Hakadash, the set apart Ruach that he gave up as he laid his life down for Yasharal, which was his mission, his assignment. So, yeah, we back. Chosen Conversation, Season 2, Episode 2. Hope everybody's doing well. My name is Ayo Ben Yahoo, aka TR Butler. Um, thankful to be here. Once again, as you can see, I'm out in nature, just getting that walk in. Shouts to my brother, Jamil the Trunk Rattler. Boy, just as we was sipping on the, getting the second and third helping of that red wine, he dropped that righteous rap tunes yesterday. Man, if you have not heard it, one of my favorite cuts on there is Cold. Brother talking about a testimony, uh, just a similar testimony um, that we have about, you know, it's just real out here how you, how you got to keep pushing because, you know, you may not be in nobody's top five or top ten as far as, you know, music artists or uh, minister of music. Uh, you see all these events getting booked, but you're not getting, you're not, you're not in them or on them. How you got to be, how it's cold, man. It's cold out here. And that's one of my favorite songs because it, it just, it just, the testimony is just, you know, he was saying, and you know, on the album, you got to go listen to it, man. Get righteous rap tunes. And, um, if you... Haven't seen our interview on last Tuesday. He was talking about how this was a trying year for him. And, uh, you know, he made a move to Virginia, um, from Mississippi. Um, you know, you know how the most high, how he's really, him and his family has, has really had to trust in the most high, right? So go get Righteous Rap Tunes, man. The testimony is outstanding. If you haven't streamed red wine yet go get download purchase and cob red wine um wonderful mixtape um this brother's just and we have a song on um we have a record on uh right to drop tunes called you don't need them and it's a topic you know the art of storytelling is back uh, telling a story about domestic violence it's not talked about enough especially in yashara it's not talked about because it happens in the world and unfortunately in the walk it, it's happening and it's not talked about enough so if there's any women that is uh, some of our sisters that may be going through that reach out and get help please yes reach out and get prayer but also reach out and get practical help they have uh, there's plenty of brothers and sisters in the walk that for the time being, we come together, put our resources together, may be able to take care of a family and sponsor a family for a little bit for you to uh, get out of a situation that is needed. Um, brothers as well, if you're in a situation, reach out. There's plenty of resources. 
Um, and that's the topic of today. Um, you know, last Sunday, um, so yeah, shouts to Jamil the Trump Rattler, man. Appreciate you for writing that wonderful song and record and sending it to me. And we talk about that topic. Uh, and the, the record is called You Don't Need Them. You don't need them if you don't keep the Sabbath. You don't need them if you don't keep the law. You don't need them, sis. For real, like, for real. Like, it's plenty of brothers out here that is walking in this walk that are good brothers that may not be um, as vocal on social media. Just because they're not on Facebook and IG, that don't mean they're not around. Most of the time, that's a good thing because they get they're too busy working on their skills, uh, working a nine to five in the studio, taking care of their families, taking care of their kids. But they're single, single dads. So I know it, it gets frustrating. It was frustrating for me. Shouts to my wife, Malcolm. It was frustrating for for us both. But we you got to endure. Right. So, yeah, shouts to um, so, to Jamil for for just having the 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 fortitude I would say to bring up that topic and write that record and that that segues way into um, you know Mashiach took risk but for some reason Mashiach Hamashiach for some reason a lot of times is deemed as soft just because he used wisdom in a lot in, in all situations. Um, I promise you, he was not soft. A lot of people took his kindness for weakness. A lot of people took that quietness to for an opportunity to pounce. So many times you read in the, in, 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 in the word that they tried, that they was going to get Mashiach, he had to slip away. He had to flip over the money changers. He had to flip over the tables because the people, the thieves were doing the, they were selling to the people the one thing that the folks needed for repentance, for sacrifice. Monopolizing the truth. Monetizing the truth. Right? So a lot of times people get Mashiach twisted because he used wisdom and he didn't go break Yehukanan out of jail. Even had you hooking on a question. Are you the one? Are you the light? Are you the true one? Why you can't dispatch them Malachim to come get me? Cause Mashiach was like, man, listen, that's not that's not what I came. That's not my mission. That's not what I came here to do. You don't think Mashiach had to in that situation how he had to stand down when he got back from Egypt and Africa. Matthew 2.13. When the, when the Malak told him to go to go to Egypt, go to Misraim, until, you know, until you told to come back, because Herod was after him. You know, you could be tough all you want, stay around. Joseph could have stayed, tried to fight all the Romans on his own. That wouldn't have, what was that going to do? So when Hamashiach was older, after he was born and they fled, when he got back, you don't think... He got the blame for all the nieces, all the sons, from newborn to what I believe four years old that were slain. When the Herodian dynasty and the Romans said slain all the Hebrew boys, he became fine the one, the anointed one. So you don't think people blame Hamashiach for that? You don't think he wanted to go and turn the government over for doing that? It was a war zone when he came back, just like it is now. So people deem them soft for that. It's crazy how people can do that. Cold, hearts are cold. Love of many has waxed cold. Because you don't want to do what they want you to do. You don't respond how they think you should respond. But there's a resolve in that. There's a resolve in that, y'all. There's a there's a there's a a quietness about humility that is unmatched and Mashiach had that and we have to have that. 
a lot of people don't rock with me because I didn't respond the way they thought I should or the way they think I should. But that's fine. You know why? Because all praises, the most high rock with me for that very reason. Because I didn't get in my flesh. I didn't get in my feelings. Cold, man. The love of many shall wax cold. But we got to make sure our hearts don't turn cold. Because there's a time coming. I talked about it last week on the live. I think it was last Sunday. Before I went on with uh, Obadiah Yahoo. Shouts to Obadiah Yahoo, man. A great interview on last Sunday. But I went live on Facebook and I was talking about there's a time coming where you're going to have to have that fortitude because there's gonna, you're going to be in a gas station. You're going to be at work. You're going to be picking up uh, 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 food at a vegan restaurant or whatever. And there's going to be 15 people manifest because all of the angst, all of the anger being held in, all of the emotion, all of the feelings being held in, they're going to manifest. And you're going to have to cast out 9 to 10 to 15, 50 demons just like that. You're supposed to be able to. You're going to walk in a room and you're going to activate somebody's demons. They're going to manifest. You're going to have to cast them out. So watch this clip. This happened a couple days ago on our, I want to say, Frontier Airlines. Uh, credit, I think it's the, the clip is from TMZ. Credit TMZ. They always own it. So true journalism at its finest, you know, whatever. <laughs> but watch this clip right quick because this is going to start happening now. It's gonna start happening, y'all. Watch this clip. We'll be right back. Y'all see that? Y'all see how she was climbing? Now that's not normal. Her voice, the way she was crying out, screaming. And the young lady, I don't know the young lady, but the young lady was right. She was on the point of listen. She was trying to warn him. This is a warning. There's a reason why that went viral. That was re There's a reason why the Most High allowed for everybody to see that. And it wasn't closed off or isolated in an isolated area with nobody just talking about it. That joint is viral. That joint is millions and millions of views by now. And all of the headlines is saying, look, this woman was demonically possessed. You got to you gotta look at the characteristics. You got to know when it's in deliverance ministry what you're up against or what you're dealing with. And you can't be soft. Like Mashiach said, this kind only comes out by fasting and prayer so like i said on the live last week 
You are a spirit possessing a soul in a body. We're going to talk about that later on in, my, in the lesson. And the word that I'm bringing forth, all praises to the Most High. Uh, in the Shabbat lesson today with the family, with the Shabbat. You are a spirit possessing a soul in a body. 1 Thessalonians 5.23, Paul wrote, May Yahuwah Shalom bless you wholly in Ruach, soul, and body. Your Ruach is the eternal image of the Most High. It will never die. Your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, your conscience, your subconscious, your body, the vessel, the shell that your spirit and your soul is actually inside. So when a Ruach, an evil Ruach, possesses you, it possesses what? Your soul. Your mind, your will, your emotions, conscious, subconscious. It actually changes or, or directs the way you think, the way you feel. Powerful, yo. Powerful, man. So we got to be careful, most definitely, in this hour. We got to stay vigilant. We got to pray for the courage and the strength to see things as they are and not what they appear to be. Because the love of many shall wax cold. You got to keep pressing. Music artists, musicians, when you're not in the top five or top ten. I ain't in nobody's top five or top ten. That's cool. That ain't, that ain't, that's because the love of many shall wax cold. It's not about that. That's not the focus. You're not getting booked to events. You got to keep praying. You got to endure. Keep bringing that word forth through your music. Keep making those meals. Keep painting. Keep making those righteous paintings. You're not getting the likes on Facebook when you post your righteous painting. But you see drama getting likes. Keep going. Endure. Because people are going to take that kindness for weakness when you don't say nothing about it. Or when you just address it or say something about it not the way they want it to. They're going to take that kindness for weakness. They have no idea what they just activated in the Shamaim. They have no idea what they're actually saying to the Most High just by doing that. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say that real quick. <sighs> People may take you soft because you don't respond how they want you to. People may take that kind for weakness. <laughs> true, true skill comes from not going off on somebody the way your flesh the way your emotions wanted you to. Mashiach didn't get in his feelings and get to his emotions. Yeah, he felt terrible about things, but he just didn't react out of emotion. He said, there's a bigger mission. If I go liberate 15 people or 150 people, what about the millions? Come on, man. Later on, that's not going to be able to come to salvation. Come on, y'all. We got to think about the bigger picture, all right? So, yeah. I'm actually going to get off in time, 17 minutes, see, not 20 or 30, but anyway, love y'all, um, man, Righteous Rap Tunes, go, go get it, Red Wine, go get it, shouts to my brother Jamil the Trump Rally, I just spoke to him like moments ago, man, so y'all go support my brother, um, like I said, I he in my top five, I mean, I, once again, I know that's not the focus, don't focus on that but he in my top five um he's more than just a musician a rapper or mc he's a devoted servant of the most high a devoted father a devoted husband i've talked about it before what are you going to do if the machine if hamashiach or if the most high took your gift away whatever it is painting cooking uh singing rapping uh sewing what would you have? Do you have a relationship with the Most High? Are you yoked with Mashiach? Does the Ruach Hakadosh live on you and inside you? Good question to ask. So yeah, peace and blessings, family. Love y'all. Continue to pray and lift us up. The House of Ayo. Shouts to my beautiful wife Malka, my daughters, my family. Love y'all. Be vigilant. Be courageous. Be sober. Don't be soon shaking in mind and body. Love y'all. Peace.